Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome. Um, just to address it, um, day three here, so don't mind it. Um, it's it's gonna be washed tomorrow, so don't mind my hair. Um, let's get into it. Uh, today, uh, we're go I'm gonna do a battle between two um, like favorite foundations that I've found lately: um, Dior matte foundation and NARS uh, soft matte foundation. Uh, I found that these two are very comparable, but um, of course I didn't put them you know, side to side, so elements matter, they'll be different from um, day to day. So we're gonna do it all in the same day and see how it actually acts and um, which one actually does better as far as matteness go. So um, I already have my sunscreen on. I use this uh, Shiseido Sun Dual Care SPF 42. It's a, it's a mix, um, chemical and physical sunscreen. Uh, actually really nice, holds out really good. I've had it on for at least a half an hour, maybe more, because such is life. So, you know, you just gotta go with it. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm actually gonna apply it with my hands because it seemed like both of them did really good with the hands. Um, so I wanna do that. And that way we actually compare it as together. So I already mixed them, shook them up, but um, never hurts to do more. So I'm gonna do Dior on this side and NARS on this side. I had to actually write on it because you know when you get it from Sephora, it doesn't really give you a lot of information. I'm gonna put my hair away first of all. Just so that we can actually see. I don't like it when, when I can't do my thing. All right, let's do some clips. Does that look proper? We'll make it do. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's just let it be. Dior, NARS. I'm gonna start with Dior. I have Dior in, um, 2WP, which I'm very surprised because it says it's peach, but that's what they match me to. I'm just gonna put it on first with a clean finger. And then the NARS, I have it in um, Demo Deville. I always have a little bit of a hard time with that one. Deville, I'm just gonna dip in as much as I need as we go. Colors are a little different. This one, of course, is more peachy, and this one is more um, kind of yellow. I'm gonna go in the middle here. I'm actually gonna go underneath my eyes as well. They both cover really good. They have good coverage, which is, I like, you know, because you can either do it less coverage or more coverage. It depends on, you know, what your um, skin needs. So it's customizable. That's why I like the, um, um, the ones that are like full coverage. I don't like them when they're very, um, what do you say? Very like heavy on the skin. I don't like those type of uh, high coverage foundations, but I do like these ones because they're very, um, here goes with the M. Um, they're very airy, they're very light on the skin and they have such good coverage, kind of like a serum foundation, you know? I don't know if you've uh, encountered like, um, I wanna say Gressa foundation. That's kind of like an oil-based foundation, but it's like serum is really liquidy and really, um, it, it has a lot of coverage, but it's very expensive. <laughs> well, anyways, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do it on here just to kind of uh, blend that in. And I do have some pimples on this side more than this. Actually, I don't have any on this side. Thanks, Mother Nature. I have to go in the middle like this. There we go. So it covered actually not bad for it just being the foundation. Uh, it's already setting. I'm gonna go underneath my eyes as well with it. And also on top. And just to make it fair, I'm gonna set it, both of them. Even though they're matte, I know that if you do want like a lot of um, dewness and all that, you might not wanna set. But I mean, if you're opting for a matte foundation, it's because you want the matte look, right? At least I like the matte look. I love the matte look. 
I don't like it drying matte, but I definitely like it matte because I have large pores. Uh, matte actually makes them look less. Um, this is actually good. Let me get a mirror instead of trying to stick my face in there. <laughs> All right. Um, gotta blend in here first. I have a little scratch up top playing with the girls. Okay, and so that's the scratch. Looks like this one actually covered better on the um, under eyes than this one so far. I'll probably go with some more. Let's do this. Blend it here real good. Definitely a co um, color difference. I have a hair. Did you get it? There. Like a little tingle there. Um, this one actually started settling in my eye a little bit more than this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of, well, after I do this, kind of uh, double up on the coverage on the spots that I need. So I'm gonna do under eyes first. I'm gonna do both of them actually. Because I feel like I would need on both of them. So, but especially this one. This one seems like it, the, um, the Dior one. Seems like it needs more coverage. And it also could be because this is yellow based, so it really co um, contrasts the, um, but this is peach, so peach does that too. Well, anyways, they're both warm, which is what I go for. They have warm uh, skin tone or undertone, I should say. All right, do you see a difference? Kind of still feel like that one is needing more than this one, but I'm just gonna, well, hold on. Just with this one a tiny bit. So obviously this one has less coverage than the uh, NARS. I definitely don't want to overdo it either. I do like to work in like light layers, so I don't add a lot. Just um, for reference. Eyelash, on the way. All right, I'm gonna leave it be. But I am gonna go up here and kind of try to see if that does better. Hmm. Looking at them side to side, it def I can definitely tell a difference. I prefer this color to this one. What do you think? Oops, picked it a little too much. Definitely much better. Much better than what it was. I don't think I want to go any further. Maybe just, just on it. Yeah, it did, it did much better. And it doesn't look heavy, which I love. This is the third layer, even though it's very um, light uh, layers, that I put, uh, three light layers, they're still looking really nice. Um, now, I'm going to want to kind of um, add some more coverage underneath my, well, on the side of my nose and a little bit underneath because I always have kind of issues with that. So I'm going to go like that. There we go. Much better, definitely, like a lot better. I know not everybody is a fan of hands, but man, hands can be so good. I don't know how, the brushes don't do the same thing. Some of them, some foundations do better with the brushes, so of course you wanna do that, but this one is really good like this. Okay, let's see the settlement, because we just used whatever minutes, just a few minutes. Um, this one is settling too. Same as this one. Um, uh, maybe less. No, the same. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of smooth that out. I will also set it. What should I use? I'm going to use these. I'm going to use this Laura Mercier. It's in translucent. 
and I'm gonna use a powder brush. I was gonna use the sponge, but I'm afraid it's gonna be too much. The sponge really, not the sponge, but the um, powder puff actually is really, really, um, it puts a lot in there. The brush seems to be, I'm just gonna go like this. Um, it's like lighter in layer than what it has. This is an e.l.f. I think it's highlighting brush. Yeah, pretty sure it is. So I'm just, I'm gonna go like underneath. Well, hold on. Let me make sure that I don't set any. Well, before I do that, let me get close so that I can actually show you what it looks like. Look up close. Underneath too, because I did put it up there. They both look really nice, guys. They both do. The layering is really nice. There's no cakiness. Um, there's no nothing. I got some in my eyebrows, but I'm gonna clean that after. But yeah, it looks really nice. There's nothing accentuated. There's no dry spots. There's no peeling, which is huge. Um, there's nothing and it doesn't really settle in my pores, which is again huge because a lot of foundations do that Or if I like use a foundation brush sometimes it does that and it doesn't do that on the hand side So that's kind of like why I prefer to do hands a lot of the times So if you want reviews of each individually, um, I have them on my channel and I use both uh, 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 hands and um, brush so you can see the difference there, but yeah, actually really, really um, nice. I know why I liked it now. So let's go ahead with the setting. Okay, I wanna make sure that I don't have any, any settling in the creases before I um, go ahead and set these eyes. I don't wanna set the creases. Great, my powder's on the floor. Good thing it's <laughs> translucent. I am gonna go ahead and do the middle of my face. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do um, like the sides or not. Should I just do the sides? Like up here. I don't know how much it is in there. Hold on. Okay, I had to pick up the um, powder because it dropped on the floor. And I kinda want more. Especially for the cheeks. I have enlarged pores and it really shows when I um, mattify it with a, uh, with a powder, it definitely looks much smaller, uh, less, <laughs> less of it. So I definitely like that more. Now, looking at this after setting it, this side looks much smoother than this side. Like this one shows more pores than this side. What do you think? I'm gonna go like this and like this. You know what, I'm gonna set it all. What the heck? Let's just do it, right? It doesn't seem like it's drying, so I definitely want this to last the whole day, so I'm gonna do it. There we go. And I definitely wanna go underneath where I actually put like three layers in. I don't want that to just um, start coming off, you know, if it was to, to do that. I don't know how much I have left, but just go over it like this. Just to spread it right. Okay, great, you guys, this looks really nice. I still think that this one uh, emphasizes the pores more than this one does. I do prefer this color as well. I don't know why she gave me that one, but actually, think that it should have been a different one like more yellow but anyways it's still workable I mean it's not that big of a difference it's just the undertone is peach and I'm not peach I am yellow so yeah let's see um settling a little bit on my eyes there on the um, eyelids but I like it a lot both sides like I said this one a little more emphasize the pores but um, it's great. It's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and um, I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll just do the check-ins uh, after a few hours. So I'll see ya. This is how the foundation looks um, underneath all of this makeup. Um, so I have bronzer, blush, some highlight on the tops of uh, the cheeks and then uh, above the brow bone. 
And then also right up here on my cupid's bow, my favorite place. <laughs> Makes my lips um, just a tiny bit bigger because I need help in that department. So yeah, but let's look at everything. Um, it is a little warm, the, the fan, attic fan kicked in. So it's gonna go for a while, but we can't wait. So um, yeah, so you can see it's actually, um, a little more shiny than what it was when I put it on. Must be about 20 to maybe 25 minutes since I uh, put it on. Um, this makeup took that much, plus I had to go somewhere like next door real quick. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It blended really, really nice. I'm gonna get in close. I have a little mascara sparkle. There we go. It blended really good, really nice. There was no patchiness. There was no, um, no, nothing really. It just went in smooth and I actually knew that. Plus I powdered too. So when you powder, you just give your your uh, face um, the slip. So it doesn't stick, you know, it's not um, like damp or anything. So it just doesn't stick at all. So it just goes in really, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, right now everything looks good. I don't see any cakiness. Um, I can see a little bit of something here, but um, like a little texture. It is on the other side too, but not as much. But regardless, I will let you know with, um, with how everything wears, uh, probably be back about three to four hours and then we'll take it in from there and then we'll do another check-in at the end of the day to kind of see how it actually lasts throughout the day. So I'm really curious and really excited to see. Um, like I said, it's hot outside, so I'm gonna go outside and kind of um, submerge it to like really high temperature because it's matte and it's supposed to last. So um, you're not just gonna wear it inside the house where you have AC or at work where you have AC. You're gonna move around, or oh, some of us. You know, some of us don't, but some of us do. So yeah, I'll let you know about it. I'll see you guys later. Five hours and a half in, uh, I totally lost track of time. Plus I was waiting for the AC to stop and it just did and then started again. So we're hearing all kinds of noises, but um, foundation, let's see. Um, Dior and NARS, both matte foundations. I am oily. I am shiny. It is warm outside. Uh, it is warm in this room particularly. We're not really in the house and the house is like 76. So not that hot. And I really haven't been outside much to make it very, very dewy as it is. It's more than dewy, it's, it's, it's oily. Um, so uh, besides that, so I'm gonna just come in close. This is the Dior and this is the, um, nurse now i'm gonna come in close there is settlement here there's some like gathering in the corners of my nose especially in here which i'm going to kind of mix in um there is the settlement in the pores on both sides you can see in my nose there i mean the crevice of my nose um it looks heavy it looks heavy and it uh it feels very oily. Now, as I do this, the pigments are like breaking down again because it looks like it kind of gathered. Like I said, it was gathering in my um, pores. So as I do this, it kind of mixes them up. So it's not really um, gathering anymore. It's not gathered anymore as I do this, but it also kind of dispersed the, um, the pigment, which makes it look much nicer but it definitely needs it because it's very oily. Very, very oily. Okay, I'm just gonna do this half side first. Kind of looks heavy on my eyebrow there. And then underneath the eyes, I have it as well. It's not very bad. I mean, it's in on that um, long, you can see, but I always, I just get one there no matter what because of the way that my eyes are. Uh, there's just a fold there, so it's always gonna gather. But look how much nicer it looks now that I just I just moved it a bit. And it was the same kind of oiliness on it. Now let's look on the other side. Um, same thing, gathered up here, um, gathered in the pores underneath here. It's definitely very oily. Both sides are. 
um, on the eye here, it looks not as settled on that, if you can tell, um, as it was, but it could, because of the color, because I'm more peachy and a little more darker, um, you can kind of see it more, almost kind of like an oxidation, but it, it did not oxidize. But because it kind of broke down, um, it looks that way a bit. So I'm gonna just mix it in, kind of break the pigment again. With me doing this, actually, my hands are getting the oil too, which makes it look nicer as well. So the other side. It's pretty much what it needs. It's pretty much all it needs, I should say. Let's go back in here. Yeah, it's definitely settled in my pores more on this side than it did on this side, it looks like. And it's still a little bit there on my nose. For some reason, it does not wanna move. I do have large pores, so if you have large pores, um, kind of expect it to settle in there. I didn't think it did this when I first did it um, individually, but it does it now. So maybe the heat or I don't know, but let's look again now that it's all kind of um, mixed in. What I would like to do now is just take a blotting paper and just kind of soak up the oils. Now it, I could just be like this and, and good because this doesn't really look oily. It looks radiant, it looks um, kind of worn, but not bad worn. So I'm just gonna start like this and see what we can get out. Nice, not as much, of course, because I did um, do it with my fingers, which my fingers kind of soaked a bunch. But you can still tell that it sticks to my face. But yeah, five hours and a half. Um, after that little mix up, um, it's definitely good to wear again for hours, hours to come. So the eye stayed on nicely, because remember I put it on the eyes too, and I did set it everywhere. So yeah, I have a little bit of highlight here and above my um, my eyebrows, but other than that, it's just not, it's not from the highlight. It's just the actual um, radiance from the foundations. But both of them, I'd say that they were pretty the same. This one settled more on the uh, in the pores than this one, but they pretty much weren't the same, pretty much the same oiliness. And now they look pretty much the same after blotting and after kind of smoothing it out. So this is the five hour and a half check-in. I will come back at the end of the day and see how it's actually worn the whole day. And then we'll just take it from there. It is nine o'clock and I'll have to do the count and see how many hours have been. But this is the last check-in. The light is kind of like a non-existent upside. It's just a little bit, but not much. So hopefully this will show really well. Um, I'm gonna come in close. So this is what we're looking at. I really hope you can tell. Um, it is um, very shiny. Maybe the light will be also? No, I don't know. <laughs> I may have to cut this part off. But um it it's gotten oily again. Um I think the last check in I did was at five thirty my time. So that would be three hours and a half away ago. But it's gotten uh shinier again. Um I've got like some gathering here and here on the NARS side. For some reason, it just gathered. Um, I'm quite, quite oily. And um, it's really looking heavy. It's really looking um, big pores, heavy. And um, yeah, I mean, the light shining on my face actually tell you better probably than the, uh, the light that I have. I'm gonna try to do it in the bathroom and see maybe the light is better. But yeah, it's definitely oily. Both of them are pretty much the same oiliness, though NARS one gathered more. So it uh, it shows like it's, um, yeah, nose under here and here for whatever reason. Do you see that? I'm gonna come in close. So here, here, here.
here and of course underneath the uh, in between the nostrils and the skin um the eyes actually look really good so the um makeup the eye makeup actually held really good i have the foundation there so um really pleased with how it turned out how it lasted so yeah i don't know man it's just it seems like the wear is the same other than gathering here so maybe dior holds on better though when i did put it on i kind of liked the way nars looked because it kind of hid my pores better it was more blurring to the pores so yeah i'll take you in the bathroom and let's go and see how that goes so this is what it looks like in the bathroom i think it shows much better um, how oily it actually gotten since the last check-in and also the little gatherings that I was telling you about like here 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 You can really tell my nose. It's just showing really like a lot of stuff. Of course coverage came off um, like mostly on the nose area underneath but actually it's not bad as far as coverage goes um whatever came off came off really nicely it's not really a distinct um a distinct you know come off i still have some blush and some bronzer surprisingly um my pimple here it's still kind of covered so coverage wise it's not that bad other than my t-zone which is oily um always oily so always foundations break out there first so but as far as um wear they seem like both of them did the same i mean you can see a lot of shininess on my face both sides um dior and nars though i kind of want to say that dior is wearing much better well not but not much better but just a tiny bit better just because it doesn't have any gatherings like this ones but it it, it looks a little heavy i'll get you close You can show, you can see my um, sunspots, the pores, big time. I kind of want to say that this size, this side looks like it has, um, that the pores are showing more. Could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Forehead kind of looks the same on both sides. But anyways, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. My shake, my hands are shaking a little bit. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you a little bit if you're interested in both of them. Now we kind of see how both of them wear on a oily skin, plus kind of normal on the sides, which is why it wears better on the sides. <laughs> but um, up until I see you guys next time, um, you guys take care. Bye.